Today, we're diving into one of the most talked about developments in global military aviation, China's mysterious sixth generation fighter jet, the J-50. This aircraft, shrouded in secrecy, has already sparked conversations, analysis, and speculation across the defense community. What exactly is this jet? Why is it making waves? And how could it change the balance of power in the skies? Let's explore everything we know so far about the J-50 that's shaking the world. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. The story of the J-50 begins in late 2024, when photos and satellite imagery revealed a sleek, tailless aircraft at a Shenyang Aircraft Corporation test facility in Liaoning Province. The design was unlike anything previously seen from China, a radical shift toward what analysts described as a lambda wing stealth configuration. This wasn't just an upgrade, it looked like a completely new generation of technology. Since then, the J-50 has been the subject of intense speculation, believed to be China's first true attempt at a sixth generation combat aircraft. The first thing that catches attention about the J-50 is its design. The aircraft has no vertical tail fins, giving it a smooth, low observable profile that significantly reduces radar cross-section. Its sharply swept wings blend seamlessly into the fuselage, resembling a futuristic hybrid between a delta wing and flying wing configuration. This tailless design indicates an emphasis on extreme stealth and advanced flight control technology. The wingtips appear to be articulated, possibly designed to enhance maneuverability and stability in flight, something only advanced flyby wire systems can handle. Under the fuselage, analysts have noted internal weapons bays, a key indicator of stealth design. Unlike older fighters that carry missiles externally, the J-50's internal bays allow it to remain virtually invisible to radar even while armed. It also features a chin-mounted electro-optical targeting system beneath the nose, similar to the system used on the F-35. This sensor gives the pilot 360-degree awareness of the surrounding airspace and targets. Its air intakes are diverterless, which helps minimize radar reflections and maintain smooth airflow to the engines during supersonic flight. Powering the J-50 are believed to be two next generation WS-15 or WS-19 engines, which could provide thrust vectoring and supercruise the ability to fly at supersonic speeds without using afterburners. That means greater efficiency, longer range and superior agility. If true, this would mark a massive step forward in Chinese engine technology, an area that has long been a challenge for China's aerospace industry. Now, the question everyone asks, is it really a sixth generation fighter? The term sixth generation refers to features that go beyond fifth generation jets like the F-22 and F-35. These features include enhanced stealth manned and manned teaming, artificial intelligence for decision support, networked sensor fusion and optional unmanned operation. The J-50 reportedly embodies several of these ideas. Some analysts suggest it could control drones in combat, acting as a mothership. For loyal wingman drones that scout, jam enemy radars, or engage targets autonomously. If this proves true, it would redefine air combat. Imagine a single J-50 coordinating a swarm of drones, each with its own mission, while remaining hidden from enemy radar. This is the type of warfare nations are preparing for where AI and autonomous systems play as crucial a role as pilots themselves. Strategically, the emergence of the J-50 is a wake-up call for the rest of the world. The United States has led the race in stealth fighters for decades, but the J-50 signals that China is rapidly closing the gap, or possibly leaping ahead in certain areas. Western nations like the U.S. and the U.K. are developing their own sixth-generation programs, the Engad and Tempest projects, but seeing China unveil a prototype first has raised eyebrows. It's no longer a future concept. It's happening now. From a geopolitical standpoint, the J-50 changes everything. 
China has long sought to challenge American dominance in the Indo-Pacific region. A sixth-generation stealth fighter would give the People's Liberation Army Air Force enormous confidence in controlling contested airspace around the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait. It could also serve as a deterrent against rival powers, reshaping the strategic calculus of the region. Nations like Japan, South Korea, and India would have to rethink their air defense and modernization programs in response. One of the most fascinating elements of the J-50 program is how quietly China developed it. For years, the J-20 was considered the pinnacle of Chinese fighter design. But while the J-20 matured, China's research institutions and aerospace firms were already experimenting with designs that would push beyond fifth generation limits. The sudden appearance of the J-50 shows that China's stealth research has evolved much faster than many anticipated. When comparing the J-50 to other advanced fighters, certain parallels emerge. Its smooth body and tailless design resemble early renderings of the U.S. Air Forces and GAD concept, it also bears similarities to Europe's future combat air system FGAS and the British Tempest, suggesting that major powers are converging towards similar solutions. That convergence indicates that the J-50's design choices are not random, they are aligned with global trends in stealth aerodynamics and integrated warfare. However, there are still many unknowns. No one outside China knows its true performance date, to speed, combat range, radar capability, or payload. We don't know if the J-50 can truly achieve supercruise, or if its stealth coating can match the sophistication of Western materials. We also don't know how mature China's AI and sensor fusion systems are. These are not just technical questions. They determine how effective the aircraft will be in real combat. Another area of speculation is the J-50's production timeline. Most analysts believe the aircraft is still in prototype or early test flight phase. If testing proceeds smoothly, it could reach limited operational capability by the early 2030s. That timeline aligns with global expectations for the sixth generation era, meaning China could be ready at the same time or even earlier than its Western competitors. Engine development will be a critical factor. For decades, China relied on Russian engines for its fighters. But the J-50 may signal that China has finally mastered the ability to produce its own advanced jet engines capable of sustained supercruise. If that's the case, it would be one of the most significant aerospace achievements in Chinese history, allowing true independence from foreign suppliers. The potential roles of the J-50 are equally intriguing. It could serve as a long-range air superiority fighter, a deep strike platform, or even a command aircraft for unmanned assets. The design emphasizes stealth and endurance, suggesting missions deep into contested zones where detection avoidance is essential. It may not be designed for close-range dogfights, but for dominance through speed, sensors, and networked awareness. Another defining feature could be its adaptability. The J-50 might be designed with modular avionics, allowing upgrades over time. China's military modernization strategy emphasizes flexibility, the idea that new software, weapons, or sensors can be integrated quickly without redesigning the whole airframe. This would make the J-50 a platform that evolves continuously, not one that becomes obsolete after a decade. Of course, no aircraft program is without challenges. Building a tailless, super-stealthy, high-speed fighter is extremely complex. Stability and control issues, especially at low speeds, require cutting, edge flight control systems and massive computing power. Even the U.S. faced years of development hurdles with the F-22 and F-35. China will likely encounter similar challenges before the J-50 becomes fully operational. Cost is another factor. Developing and maintaining a sixth-generation fighter requires enormous funding, not just for the airframes, but also for the ecosystems of AI, sensors, drones, and communication networks that go with it. 
How many J-50s China can afford to build remains uncertain. It might start with a limited number for elite squadrons, gradually expanding production as the technology matures. Despite the uncertainty, one thing is clear the J-50 represents a bold statement of intent. It shows that China no longer aims to catch up but to lead in aerospace technology. Whether the jet's true capabilities match its appearance or not, it has already achieved a psychological impact. It demonstrates China's determination to challenge the West in every domain of high technology, including the skies. For the United States and its allies, the message is unmistakable. Air dominance can no longer be taken for granted. Western nations will need to accelerate their own programs, invest in new counter, stealth detection systems, and rethink their doctrines to prepare for a world where China fields an aircraft as advanced as any in existence. The J-50's emergence also highlights a broader shift in military technology. The next era of warfare won't be decided just by speed or firepower, but by who can integrate data, AI, and unmanned systems most effectively. The J-50's design reflects this philosophy. It's not just a fighter. It's a node in a vast digital ecosystem. In the years ahead, we can expect to see more test flights, clearer imagery, and eventually official announcements from China. Each new glimpse will fuel debates over what the J-50 truly represents. Some believe it's primarily a technology demonstrator, testing systems for future platforms. Others think it's already close to operational readiness. Either way, it's reshaping how the world thinks about China's aerospace capabilities. If the J-50 enters service successfully, it could redefine the balance of power in the air. It would give China unmatched confidence in projecting power across Asia and possibly beyond. It could also accelerate the global shift toward unmanned and AI-assisted combat aviation, forcing all other nations to keep up. So while much about the J-50 remains a mystery, its impact is already being felt. It's not just a new jet. It's a symbol of China's technological rise and strategic ambition. The world is watching closely, and every new detail adds another piece to the puzzle of the future of air warfare. And that wraps up today's deep look at China's J-50, the stealth fighter that's shaking the world. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future updates on global defense technology. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the J-50 truly represents a leap into the sixth generation, or is it more of a bold prototype? Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.